So uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to prep prepare the bottom part here and I'll show you how I do that in a sec. Okay, what I've got to do is I'm going to re remove this this piece right here. Now this piece, if you'll remember, is just a temporary piece to keep me from banging up the edges on uh, this, this outer edge. So I'll take the screws out and uh, take this off and um, then I'll show you what I'm going to do with that. So we're going to take out the temporary screws that I had in here. Now way back when I first started making this, you'll remember I didn't cut completely through this. So that's what I'm going to need to do now, is I'm going to need to cut out those segments that I did not completely cut. So I'll do that with my Japanese saw here. Works pretty well. start prying this apart. Remember I put some barrier tape in here but still it, it sticks pretty pretty strongly. So there's my temporary piece. I can pull this tape off if you want. It doesn't really matter. But you can see where uh, the glue had gotten in there and glued it down. So this comes out. So what this is, is this is the outer wall. So this is a flange, so the floor will fit in here, and then this will be screwed through to the, uh, to the floor, as well as having those um, pocket screws that I put in that will also uh, screw through there. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up all of this tape, clean this up good, because it's going to be difficult to do later, and uh, then we'll go on to the next step. The other thing that I want to do is I want to... Anywhere, this is where I made the saw cut with a Japanese saw, and uh, so there's a little ridge there. And I'm going to be routing this to, to, to shape, so I want to make sure that that's... Now that I've got that all cleaned up, and I have this cleaned up here, what I'll do is I'll screw it back on. Now the reason I did that, is the reason I took that off, is because I'm going to be putting another sheet here and gluing this all down. And I'm going to put some blue tape on here to, to help protect this because when I get it all finished, when I get this all glued down, I'm going to have to remove this again and then trim that that uh, top panel right here. So I want to make sure that I can get it off of there before I put another panel on top of it and that will make it even more difficult to get it off of there. So I wanted to do that in advance so that uh, I'm not going to have trouble later on.
one of the last things that I'm going to need to do before I glue this up is I need to put some tape here on the bottom. This is the the, the bad side of the, or not the bad side, but the non-finished side of that uh, plywood that I'm going to be putting for the inner panel. So I need to put some tape here so it matches up with this tape here. So if I get some glue in here, it doesn't stick. So I'm going to go ahead and mark that. And that's an inch and a half gap. put some tape down. Now one thing to remember about this is uh, that this part right here is actually going to be cut off um, and trimmed off, which you'll see in a little while. Okay, I've got my, um, my sheet here all ready for gluing, so you can see I've uh, taped this all up. I've also put some cleats down. I'll show you the ones down here. These cleats basically, I've got put a cleat here at the bottom of this, um, of this um, splice and a cleat at the top of the splice and a cleat at this end and then there's one at the other end. That's just basically to hold everything tightly into position. Um, so um, the next thing I'll do is I'm going to uh, we'll, we'll spread some glue on this and uh, get it all troweled out and then uh, put the side on. Now it's a little warmer today uh, than it was uh, in some of my earlier videos when I was doing this so I've got uh, somebody to help me and uh, so they're going to be helping me uh, get the glue on pretty fast. One of the things that I found out uh, as I was gluing uh, the last one that worked pretty well in order to get the glue on fast, rather than putting this into a gun, um, what I did is uh, just take a, um, an, a, a knife and cut this open and then use a putty knife and just scoop it out of there to get it onto here. Uh, we just don't want it setting up at all before uh, we put that uh, that panel on. So I will probably set the uh, the camera back a little bit so you can kind of see what it looks like, all the action that's going on, and then uh, we'll just get this thing going.
Okay, we've got it glued all up, and now we'll just leave it overnight and come back, take the clamps off, and then there's a couple more things I need to do to this before we're done.